So in today's notes, we start to actually solve equations with fractional exponents. So the next two class periods before your quiz, we're going to be solving exponential equations. Today, the base is going to be the x. Next class, you'll see the x up within the exponent. So I just wanted to review, so if those of you who are absent, this is a review of what we did last class. So when you see a fractional exponent, the first thing you should do is set up a radical. So this becomes a radical, and 625 is your radicand. The number in the denominator is your root. So if you have your blue root card, you take the fourth root of 625, and then you raise it so the numerator is the outside exponent. So what's the fourth root of 625? 5. So this is... 5 to the first power, which anything to the first power is 5. So do you have to write the 1 right here? No. You can leave it out. So if you have a numerator of 1 in the fractional exponent, you don't have to write it. Because anything to the first power is just whatever the base is, the number. So what root of 32 do we take in the middle one? The square root or the fifth root? Fifth root of 32, then square it. So what times, or what number times itself? Five times gives you 32, two. So two squared is four. What root of 64 do we take? The fourth or cube? Cube. Cube root of 64 to the fourth power is? 4 to the 4th, 64 times 4, 256? The next row is not a review from last class, but just a review of an exponent law that would really help us out in today's notes. So when I have x to the negative 2 raised to the 6, what do you do with the exponents? multiply. So this is really x to the negative 12th, which is 2 times 6 is 12, so it's going to be negative because of the negative 2, and then it's 1 over x to the 12th. You could rewrite this as 1 over x squared first, if you wanted to, and then raise it to the 6th power, it would still be 1 over, because 1 to the 6 is 1, x squared to the 6 is x12. But power to power, we multiply. So over here, x to the 1 half squared, 2 is really 2 over 1. So if you follow the power to power rule and multiply, what's 1 half times 2? 1 half times 2 over 1 is x to the, I think somebody said it, first which is just x. In this case, we have x to the negative times negative is positive, and then we're going to multiply 2 thirds times 3 halves, which is 6 over 6, yes, x to the first, which is just x. So I want you to take a moment. If I want to go from a fractional exponent to an exponent of 1, you raise it to the reciprocal power. <coughs> so if I had x to the negative 2 thirds and I wanted it to be x to the first, I would raise the whole term to the fractional exponent that was the reciprocal. Reciprocal is when you flip it. If it's negative, it has to be negative. If it's positive, it has to be positive. So look at the steps for solving the equations, but before you do that, I guess take a look at the types of equations we're going to solve. Just like with radical equations, just like with absolute value equations, you want to first isolate the expression that contains the exponent. So the, for the first one, Step number one is to isolate 
the expression that has the exponent. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. So number one is the expression with the exponent isolated down below. Yeah. Is it isolated in number two? No. So the first thing you would want to do is to subtract the one so that you have the expression with the exponent um, isolated. And 5 minus 1 is 4. Now they look very similar. Step number 2 is to get an exponent of 1, we have to raise this term to the reciprocal power. We want an exponent of 1 because x to the first is just x. So what's the reciprocal of 1 half? 2 over 1. Do I need to put the 2 over 1? No. So I'm actually going to square it because 2 over 1 is 2. Square both sides. What is x to the 1 half squared? x to the first. So this cancels the exponent out. Because 2 over 2 is 1 equals 81. To check, we substitute in the original equation, is 81 to the 1 half equal to 9? The 1 half power means the square root. So the square root of 81 to the first is 9. It checks. So x to the 2 thirds equals 4. I would raise it to the 3 over 2 power. So I can cancel those out because 2 thirds times 3 halves is 6 over 6, which is 1. So I have x is equal to, put the radical, the denominator of 2 goes out front or at the end? Goes out front, the index. Square root of 4 cubed. Square root of 4 is? And then 2 cubed, x is 8. Should be 8. So if I check that, is 8 to the 2 thirds plus 1 equals 5. So I'm going to put the radical. The 3 goes out front. Cube root of 8 squared. 2 squared is 4. And 4 plus 1 is 5. On the back side, how do we isolate x to the 5 halves? First step is always to isolate. Divide by 3. So divide by 3. And we have x to the 5 over 2 equals 32. Good. Now I take and raise both sides to the reciprocal of 5 halves, 2 fifths. That's going to give me 10 over 10, which is 1. So 32 to the 2 fifths, make your radical. Do I take the square root of 32 or fifth root? Fifth root. Fifth root of 32 squared. 2. 2 squared? 4. To check, we have to do 3 times 4 to the 5 over 2 is that 96. So your focus is here. Square root of 4 to the fifth power, 2 to the fifth is... 32 and 32 times 3 is 96. And number 4, the exponent's not a fraction. But you can make it a fraction by putting what underneath? 1. So therefore, it is isolated. I would raise it to the negative what power? Reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 fourth. And I want to raise it to a negative so that negative times negative becomes a positive 1. So negative 1 fourth. So do I take the first root of 81 or the fourth root? Fourth root. Fourth. And I suggested you always put the negative with the numerator and that's outside. Fourth root of 81? Three. three. And then 3 to the negative 1. No, you can do it on your calculator if you want. 3 to the negative 1. No, it's a third. The rule is to make a fraction and then put, do 3 to the first, which is 3, and then put it below. So we're going to check with a fraction. Is 1 third to the negative fourth power equal to 81? 
So we're going to do a little keep change flip. So one over one third to the fourth is one over one over. All I'm simplifying is this one third to the fourth. So keep the one in the numerator the same. And what's one third of the fourth power? One of the fourth is one. Three of the fourth is 81. So do your keep, change, flip. You end up with one over one times 81 over one, which is 81. Is the expression with the fractional exponent isolated? The last one? So what do I have to do to isolate it? If you're saying it's not. It is. You can't distribute an exponent. You can raise both of those to the power, but it's when it's connected with plus, okay, I can't raise both. So what I have to do first is raise the whole expression because of the grouping symbols we raise it to the reciprocal of three halves which is two thirds. So that's just going to leave me with x plus one. Do we take the square root of 64 or cube root? Cube root. So cube root of 64 squared. So x plus one equals cube root of 64 and then four squared Subtract the 1, and x is 15. So is 15 plus 1 to the 2 thirds equal to 64? It is 3 halves. I couldn't see that. Thank you. So it should be 3 over 2. So 16, because as I'm doing the check in my head, I'm like, you can't take the cube root of 16. So 16 to the 3 halves means the square root of 16 cubed. Square root of 16 is 4, and 4 cubed is 64. It checks.